Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Live Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who's got you on their mind, who's been thinking about you lately. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay, I was going to pick only six cards, but the Nine of Wands came out as well at the same time, and I don't think it's any coincidence. Um, Nine of Wands, interesting, you've got a fair bit of fire energy here. Um, this is someone who is definitely, um, feels very drawn to you, okay? They're very attracted to you. This is someone who, found you, who finds you extremely attractive, very good looking. Uh, but more than that, they're very drawn to your energy, okay? I don't even know if they know why, because it's a type of a connection that is so intense that they just find themselves being pulled towards you, almost like this gravitational magnetic pull. Um, yeah, you know, they're physically, physically attracted, but I think there's more that, there's more than that, and I feel like this person sees that, you know, whatever the two of you got going on, there's so much room... I'm blocking the cards it's a bit dark is it i hope you can see um there's so much room in this connection for it to be so much more than what it already is your person is coming off as a bit of a well they're coming off as a little bit closed off to me okay someone who's emotionally reserved this is someone whom maybe there is a bit of a distance between the two of you maybe that you know you guys are going through this a little bit uncomfortable or awkward phase of the relationship maybe you guys are not necessarily talking um, or maybe it's not that maybe it's just that this person has a hard time expressing his or her emotions okay this is someone who likes to keep people at a distance this is someone who is slow to build trust with people um, not because well maybe they're a little suspicious but I feel like it's because they've had their trust broken in the past and you know this is someone who doesn't want to or history to repeat it itself again so someone who wants to take things slow someone who's not in a rush um, you know they want to build a genuine connection this is someone who wants to be honest or this is someone who, do, who is coming across as a very um, authentic a very sincere uh, a very truthful person a very truthful energy okay um, I don't know why I get that. I don't know if in the past they haven't been so very honest. I don't know if in the past their lack of honesty or their, um, their maybe their deception or their manipulation in the past has hindered growth of relationships for this person and friendships. And this time around, you know, they want to be true to themselves and they want to be true to the connection. I get that honesty is really big. It's something that they're either working on, okay, being more open, being more honest with themselves um, and with you, of course. Um, the other thing is, the other interpretation we could also go with is that there's a difference in what people choose to, you know, choose to tell you. Um, or, and you know there's a difference in when people choose to hold something back from you or choose to tell a lie there's a difference because you know them holding back something that they're not ready to share with you isn't them purposely emitting information so they could make you know um, a false statement about who they are okay this is just someone who maybe is taking a little bit longer to share intimate and private details because they are that emotionally reserved energy and they are that you know slow burning 
energy where you know they take their time in getting to know someone so just because they could be holding back it doesn't mean that they aren't telling you the truth or, or they're not showing you who they really are so don't misunderstand it but the truth is very important to this person and to this connection and they see you as someone that they want to be honest with they see you as someone that they want to be vulnerable with it is something that they see as a challenge not because you're making it a challenge it's just something they struggle with naturally they're very closed off they're very guarded they're very emotionally reserved and naturally you know with people that are, are a little bit avoidant or closed off or introverted it takes that you know it takes that little bit longer to get to know these individuals um, it can be frustrating for some of you I can see that um, but I think it's going to be worth the reward because this is someone who I see that like they're coming into this connection and they're approaching this connection with you or the way that they want to approach this connection with you is from a place of rawness, okay? From a place of integrity, honesty, transparency and they want to tell you a truth or they want to show you who they really are. They want to show you a side of them that I don't think they show a lot of people. Um, someone who wants to be very honest with you, very truthful with you. So I get that that, and I feel like this is someone who wants to communicate something to you. Um, I'm picking up, you know, they either want to speak their truth to you. They want to tell you how they really feel about you. So if this person is closed off, they may be catching feelings for you. Okay, they may have developed some very strong romantic feelings for you. Um, and this is something that they want to communicate and express to you. So, you know, they want to find the time and the space to do that. They could also be trying to communicate an apology to you, okay? So if it is someone that has wronged you um, or if it is someone that has hurt you, I don't think there's malicious intention. I don't get that. I just get that this, play, this person may be a bit insecure. Um, they may just have a hard time opening up, you know, and uh, like revealing themselves. They may have a hard time expressing their emotions. I think it's more of that and less of anything being malicious, or vicious for that matter but I do see an apology so I don't know if there was some sort of misunderstanding misinterpretation of a situation but I see them wanting to they feel like they owe you an apology or they owe you an explanation or they want you to hear them out okay so it feels like this person is thinking about you and it's like they want to communicate something to you that they deserve they believe you deserve to know okay five of pentacles they feel like you're um, they've they've been acting a little bit cold or distant. I don't know if it's lately or if you just you know if they come across as a bit as someone who's a bit emotionally aloof or detached. But it's like they want to tell you why. It's like it's like they want you to know, okay, why they are the way they are. Okay, why they hold people at a distance. Why you know they want to take their time. It's like they want to share some very private and intimate details with you. Um, so again, this is all a part of them wanting to become closer to you. This person is someone, I do see that they have boundaries, okay, uh, firm and rigid. I do feel like this is someone who doesn't trust people easily. They're a little bit suspicious, but you, that's coming from a place, right? So it's not that, you know, they were born suspicious. It's that something has made them be this way and become this way. And to me, it feels like they've had their trust broken in their past. They've had their heart broken and they had to, you know, they learned to not so easily be trusting or naive with people, okay? And not always to give people the benefit of the doubt. Some deserve it, some don't. Um, so I feel like this is someone who I can see that they want to fight for you or they want to fight for the connection, okay? Um, I also see that this is someone who wants... with you more than with anyone they want um they want a life okay they want long-term commitment um you're an energy that feels like home to them but i don't know that this person has communicated that to you maybe they have for some of you but i feel like this is something that they struggle to not only do they struggle to communicate this to you but i feel like they struggle to understand it themselves like you feel like home you feel like you know, if they haven't fallen in love with you just yet, or if they've not been in love with anyone, they feel like this is what love feels like, okay? Or this is what it should feel like. Um, or this is what, you know, a relationship should feel like. It's this energy of them 
wanting to come back home to you or it's this energy of you feeling like home to them you are someone that they've always wanted you are someone that they wish for you are someone that they desire you are someone that they have attracted okay and you've attracted this person as well um there's such a desirous energy behind this person they feel like you're a wish or a dream come true they feel very good about what you have or the possibility of what this could be but to me it just feels like what can potentially hinder this connection is their very own fears or insecurities that might get in the way so their own insecurities about you know having their trust broken or betrayed again um, or you know of them not feeling good enough it's just that or even like their jealousy it's just that they need to make things right with themselves before they can make things right with you or with this connection but I see that this is someone who's thinking about you and they want to talk they, they they're trying to attract contact communication I don't know if they're waiting for you to reach out first or I don't know if they're waiting for the right time to connect but I know that there's a very strong energy and a desire to do so okay guys these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye